What is going on everybody? My name is Arbuckle. Welcome back to another video. So as most of you guys probably know by now, Treyarch dropped one of the craziest updates of all time on Black Ops 3 yesterday. They dropped all sorts of new theater mode uh, updates. They dropped new crypto key features. They dropped new, a new leveling system. They dropped all kinds of stuff. New weapons in the game. Uh, but overall today I wanted to talk about the leveling system because this is honestly personally my favorite out of everything So if you haven't heard by now there is now 1000 levels in black ops 3 now The way this works is once you get to master prestige level 55 you can continue on from there So for example, you would go to level 56 57 58 etc all the way to level 1000 which is just absolutely incredible We've never seen anything over like 75 I don't I don't know what was it 80 in modern warfare 3 so it's gonna look really weird seeing levels like 427 like it's just gonna look really weird in the lobby um, but basically what they've done is instead of just coming up with prestige emblems like every 55 levels or every hundred levels they're bringing back old prestige emblems and basically they're customizable to the point where you pick what prestige emblem you want now you don't get to make your own prestige emblem it's not customizable in that way but you actually get to choose and once you get to level 1000 you literally have like a million different prestige emblems to choose from so once you hit this level 56 or once your master prestige level 56 you actually get to choose whichever prestige emblem you want from the original 10 that you've already hit so you could technically be like first prestige level 57 if you wanted to so once you hit that number you actually get to choose one of the old prestiges if you want to pick one of the old ones alright now once you hit level 100 this is what you get. Once you hit level 100, you actually get the first prestige emblem from all the old Treyarch games. So, for example, Ward at War, Black Ops 1, and Black Ops 2, you get to choose which prestige emblem you want from the first prestige out of those three games. So, you can either be first prestige from Ward at War, first prestige from Black Ops 1, first prestige from Black Ops 2, or you can be any of the previous prestiges that you have from, level, from prestige 1 to 10. So, basically, you get to choose anything you want uh, once you hit level 100. The same thing goes for the next 100 levels. Once you hit level 200, you get to pick the second prestige emblem from the old Treyarch games. And it goes so on and so forth, it's, I, it's a tongue twister just talking about it. But basically, once you get to level 1000, you can pick any prestige emblem you want from any past Treyarch games. You get level, uh, or prestige, 1 to 15 on Black Ops 1. You get from 1 to prestige master on Black Ops 2, 1 to 10 on Ward at War, or any of the prestiges in front of you on Black Ops 3. You get to basically choose what prestige emblem you want once you get level 1000. And honestly, if you play the game enough to get level 1000, you should be able to pick whatever you want. You should, shoot, you should be able to make your own prestige emblem if you get to level 1000. Uh, but that's just really awesome. I think that's really cool. I like they put that in the game. It seems like a lot thinking that there's like 1000 levels now, but basically when you look at it, it's very similar to Modern Warfare 3. It's basically 20 prestiges, um, which is going to take a really long time to get. I know a lot of people out there already master prestige, and now they've got a grind and double up so good luck to you guys that are trying to get to this i think it would be awesome i want to use some of the old ward at war prestige emblems i miss those days uh, but anyway guys i hope you enjoyed the video make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in the next video now we